As students return to school this week, health experts are reminding students and staff to take proper precautions to protect themselves against COVID-19. News 2's Kevon Dupree joins us live from the Medical University of South Carolina in downtown Charleston. And Kevon, the surge in cases is impacting schools across the low country. Good evening to you, Carolyn. As many students return back to school in person, um, the surge in COVID cases had left many of them, unfortunately, uh, in quarantine. But experts want to keep uh, schools open if possible, <clears throat> as long as everyone takes the necessary precautions. Over 900 students and staff across three low country school districts were out this week with COVID-19 as the Omicron variant surge continues. It seems like the variant that is around and far more prevalent now. As of January 5th, Berkeley County reported 373 positive student and staff cases. Charleston County reported 219 positive cases and DD2 reported 305 positive cases. Despite the high transmission rates, keeping children in school is a top priority. We're encouraging parents to talk with their pediatricians, to have their children vaccinated, for staff to be vaccinated. All the things that we continue to talk about are just as important today as they were a year ago. Dr. Kenneth Perry with Trident Medical Center says that vaccines and good hygiene remain the best weapons against the virus. The things that we can do for the current variant are the same things that we've been discussing right from the beginning. Really, you should make sure that your child's getting vaccinated if possible and really doing all that's necessary based off of the risk characteristics or risk features depending on your child's health. Dr. Linda Bell agrees. She says although we can't predict what the virus will do, it's up to us to help suppress the surge. We could force an earlier decline in this surge if our vaccination uptake improved more quickly. Now, health experts want to remind everyone that vaccines are approved for everyone over the age of five. Reporting in Charleston, Kevon Dupree, Count On Two.